Hey guys, it's Christina from Our Rich Journey and I am so excited about this video today. I am standing on our one acre plot of land here in Portugal. I am gonna take you on a tour of our garden because I'm gonna start a series of videos about our project for our garden here. We're gonna have a chicken coop that we're gonna build. We're gonna have beehives that we're gonna build in the backyard. We're gonna plant fruits and vegetables and we're gonna go through a series of videos so you can see the whole transformation of our garden here. But first, today, on this very first video, I wanna take you throughout our garden and show you what it looks like right now. So if you're new to our channel, our channel is all about making money, saving money, and investing money on the road to financial independence. Aman and I reached financial independence after eight years. We quit our federal government jobs and we retired here in Portugal. And we bought this home about a month ago. Aman and I are renovating the inside of the home and we're gonna do a video on the renovations and the transformation on the inside of the home. But we're also working on the garden because not only are we very passionate about financial independence, but we're also passionate about this concept called food independence, where we can grow a sustainable garden and live off of all the food in our garden. And the reason why we're so passionate about this is because we want to know where our food is coming from. So many people buy food from the grocery store. They don't know how it's processed. They don't know the chemicals that are put into their food. And we want to have a completely organic, sustainable food source where we are growing food fresh from the garden, pulling it directly from our garden and putting it to the table, the farm to table concept. So like I said, this is the first video of this series. So I'm gonna take you around the garden. I'm gonna show you our plans for this garden, show you where we plan on building the chicken coop. And I'm actually planning on building the chicken coop myself with my girls, Sano and Malia. So we're gonna include that in the series. And I just wanna show you around the garden. So let's go take a look. So if you've been watching our channel, we actually purchased this house for 190,000 euro about a month ago. Like I said, we're renovating the inside and the outside area, the garden area, we're focusing on renovating as well. So these are the plants that we've been pulling out of the garden. The previous owner had these plants and they had little seeds that she was using to make rosary beads, but they are not edible plants and there are hundreds of them lined in the backyard. So we've been pulling all of them out. We talked to a professional and they actually suggested that we poison the plants and let them sit for a while and then they'd be easier to pull out and then we'd have to wait several more weeks before we could plant fruits and vegetables. That was not an option for us because we really wanted to focus on organic fruits and vegetables and doing everything without poison and so we have been pulling all of these out and the girls have been helping me pull all of these out and as a mother that is the best feeling. I love seeing the girls get in and do the work and really do this grunt work and pull out all of these plants. It's a lot of work but it's so gratifying and so fulfilling after we pulled all these out. To me as a mother having the girls work on this really shows and really develops their independence, really shows them that they can do anything. And that's another reason why I wanna build the chicken coop with them, to make them understand that even though they're girls, they can build anything they want, they can grow anything they want. Their focus is on being independent, healthy, and happy girls. So as you can see, we have pulled out about half of the plants here. We're about halfway through. There are hundreds total that we have to pull. And so once we pull all those out, we're gonna start cultivating this land more and churning over the soil. The soil is incredibly good for growing fruits and vegetables. And then we're gonna make more distinguished lines down these plots so that we can start planting all the fruits and vegetables on these lines. So this is the type of soil that I get to work with, which is perfect. It has so many nutrients for the fruits and vegetables to grow. It's really the perfect mix. It's perfect soil for growing our organic garden. Mm -hmm. 
And so we have a list of all the fruits and vegetables that we want to plant, but what we're focused on is planting all of the foods that we generally eat and consume every day because we're a family that's really into fruits and vegetables. And this, like I said, this land is about an acre large. So we're going to have a ton of fruit and vegetables to eat. And I really anticipate that we're going to have more than what we actually need. So part of our goal is to take those extra fruits and vegetables and start giving them away to the community. And I think what's great about our situation right now is that we have an opportunity to help people. And you may be in a similar situation where you have a huge plot of land or even a smaller plot of land where you can grow excess fruits and vegetables and give back to people in need and for us it's so important not only are we living a healthy lifestyle we're able to find the sustainable garden that we can grow our fruits and vegetables but we can also take those excess fruits and vegetables and give back to people in need So there were a lot of fruits and vegetables already planted on this land, including this kiwi vine. So when we first moved here, there weren't actually a lot of kiwi growing, and now they are growing in abundance on this vine. They're, they're not ripe yet, but they are growing and they're gonna be ripe and ready to eat soon. Now over here we have this amazing orange tree, and I can actually see some bees buzzing around it right now. It is ripening more and more so you're gonna see them a lot throughout here are all green most of them are green but as you can see there's a couple that are beginning to ripen and they're turning orange they're not ready to eat yet but this is something that we can make fresh orange juice with of course we can eat them fresh so this is something we're really excited about waiting for them to ripen so that we can start eating them here is our our lemon tree we actually have a lot of lemon trees and these are also coming in they look like limes initially but if you look harder at the ones that are beginning to ripen you see the yellow coming out and so we're going to be able to make a lot of lemonade with these lemons this is one of my favorite trees so we have grapes we have kiwi lemons limes oranges parsimons and these apples these apples this is about the size that they're gonna get they're not gonna get any larger but they are so sweet and crisp we love just coming out into the back, pulling one of these off, cutting it open, and just having it as a healthy snack. Here is another one of my favorite trees because I love parsimons. Now these are growing ripe and they're growing very, very quickly. So we have to get out every day and start pulling them because if they don't, they start dropping to the ground and we waste them. So we love these parsimons. We eat them daily and they are definitely ripe. If you cut them or you pull them off too early they taste chalky so right now they are at the perfect stage they taste so sweet they're so ripe we come out and we eat these pretty much every day so this spot right here is where I plan on building the chicken coop with the girls. Now this area is a really open area and so that's really important to me because I want the chickens to be able to roam freely but at the same time there are predators out here so I'm going to have to enclose the area but this is the perfect area for the chickens to roam and it is a great source of food for us because we eat eggs every single day either fresh eggs boiled eggs scrambled fried eggs however it is or it's somehow in our food in our salads and so this is going to be a great source of food for us so this is our shed this is where we store everything to keep it dry if you can see behind me there's all of this wood that we use because we have two fireplaces in the house and then we also have another fireplace in the gazebo so this keeps all of the wood dry so when we use it in the winter we're going to be able to rely on all of this dry wood we also have all of our tools in the shed we have our lawnmower here that we mow the grass once every two weeks and so basically this is where we keep everything in order to cultivate our land and to grow our fruits and vegetables so this is the part that I love. I'm so excited to share and it is right now, it's a compost pile. It is not what it's gonna be at the end. Our goal is to create three different compost bins because we, like we said, we wanna have a sustainable organic garden and it's really important to take what you're taking from the land and reusing it, recycling it. So we have 
wood clippings from the trees. We have leaves. We have grass clippings. We even have food, excess food that we put here, like banana peels or apples, things like that. We're putting it in this pile so that when we grow this compost pile, when we have these three different compost piles, we're going to churn it and then we're going to put it back into the soil of our garden with our fruits and vegetables. So that is the video. That is our garden. Those are our plans for cultivating our garden. If you like what we're doing with this garden, if you want to see more, make sure you check out the future videos on this series. Aman is going to be in the videos. The girls are going to be in the videos and we're going to be sharing everything as we cultivate and develop this land and also as we renovate the inside of our house. So make sure if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and join the journey.